So, today's video, we got here my Joan deck, and in this box, we got some, basically the Joan box, which has every card in it that I would consider to use in a deck if I had to go play somewhere. Although there's a lot of pieces of this puzzle missing, and it's always constantly changing and evolving, so whatever. I'm not a professional player or anything, but I do like to collect the cards and play with this awesome deck. This is definitely the coolest modern deck out there over all the years, in my opinion. Obviously, that's why I bought it. A little hard to take off this cover. I don't want to make too much noise. Here's the main deck. Got it nice and categor or not categorized, but ordered. Got Mr. Goyf on top. So I guess I'll just grab a stack of cards and we'll go through what's in it. Oh, spoilers! Got Tarmogoyf. Obviously, have to have four of these. I got two of these Future Sight ones, and then one from I think Modern Master is two thousand. 17 and then this is 2015 this one my girlfriend actually pulled in a box Kind of wish I pulled it, but hey, it was still cool. She was happy. I like both of these arts now Like this art is amazing Because it's I feel this is what the Tarmogoyf would actually look like just ravaging basically the earth eating this like dough or I guess not I don't know if it's a dough or not a buck whatever do some some animal this more looks like like a bug. I don't feel like this is what it should look like, but hey, this is the original artwork, so whatever. It's cool. I love the design, the Future Sight artwork. Beautiful. Both are amazing cards and artwork, I meant. Not cards, same card. Amazing artwork. That's why I got both of them. Couldn't really decide. Now we got Scavenging Ooze. Got two of these bad boys. Kind of just the card you need, you know. Hey, it's a good card. Very versatile for two mana. Got one Plague Engineer in here. This card, I feel like it's just really good against a lot of decks. It shuts down a lot of token decks as well. And it's got Death Touch. You get hit it off Bloodbraid um, Elf as well. So, really awesome card. And we do have four Bloodbraid Elf. Um, I have four in here because... I guess I I need like two more or one more. Yeah, I need two more Renin six and another, another Liliana. I'd probably make this card three. I feel like four is a little too heavy, but hey, this card's amazing if you hit it off. Got a Hunt Master of the Fells. I love this card, and I saw a bunch of people were, people were main decking it a couple of weeks ago. I guess that was because of, after the Hogak banning. So I guess today's date is like September twentieth, two thousand nineteen. Hogak got banned, and people were playing a bunch of burns, so they threw this card in. This card's just amazing. So much value for one card. I play this every time in Joan if I had to, or had the opportunity. We got Renin Six, the uh, super expensive card. At first, I pulled these cards and I was like, eh, "I'll sell them." You know, they're a lot of money, and I was like, "Wait a minute, they're really good in Jund, and the artwork is absolutely beautiful." Kind of reminds me of something from Annihilation. I don't know if anyone saw that sci-fi movie. It was, there's a part where this person drifts off in the forest and they become basically a tree. Kind of like that, but this is more, I guess that kind of is what it is. I don't know. Beautiful art, amazing card. I would need two more of these. I, want, I would want to run four because it definitely helps fix mana. And I want to play, I guess my ultimate goal in Jund is to play Worm Coil Engine. Because the Jund colors are beautiful the like history and lore i guess and i guess the color mentality where it's like this land of destruction and death and only the best things survive warm coil engine's beautiful and that would be the monster i would want i don't know if it fits really the theme of john but hey it would be awesome we got three lilianas i need a fourth one but geez this thing's expensive I figured I might as well just buy more boxes for the channel instead of getting another card for selfish reasons. I can't even really play Magic the Gathering right now because um, this place, my local game store, went out of business. 
and the nearest place that plays modern is like Monday night. It's like 45 minutes away. It's pretty sad, but we'll figure it out. We got four lightning bolts. Best red card for one mana. Actually, probably best red card in general. That's what I love about John. Just play the most powerful cards ever printed. Now I run the 4-3 four, four, split. I just feel like Inquisition is a little more or not powerful, but you don't lose two life. And most cards in modern are three or less, but now I guess if the meta is going to shift to something a little bit slower, maybe more Thoughtseize would be cooler, or not cooler, more beneficial. I do like the other Thoughtseize artwork, however, it's like $10 more expensive, so I was like, you know, save some money here, and I'll get these. I got those. Oh yeah, so I had to rebuild my Jun deck because I bought it a while ago, and then I was like, why am I buying this? I don't really play enough, and then I sold it. And then I'm like, you know what, I want it back. So, you know, you never really realize how badly you want something until it's gone. And this was one of the things. Got two Fatal Push. It's a good card, but if you hit it off Blood Braid, this is like the one card that sometimes doesn't have a target. Got an Abrupt Decay. Um, and I guess two Assassin's Trophies. I guess you could go three Assassin's Trophies or something, but I just love how this can't be countered. I hate things I that get countered, so this is a... Nice like slap to countering, or yeah, basically blue decks, which I dislike. This also has a pretty negative impact. Let's just fetch out a land, let them fetch out a land, which can kind of help them out. But a lot of people think that the downside is completely worth it, and I think so too. But I just like having the one abrupt decay, can't be countered. We got 2k commands. There's a lot of Urza stuff going around right now with artifacts, and this card's pretty crazy. You get a lot of value for. Two mana as well, or three mana as well. Hits a hits blood braid, off blood braid too. Got a maelstrom pulse too. Pretty awesome cards. Now the mana base is, I guess, pretty pretty general. It's nothing too fancy. We just got three uh, or four catacombs, obviously. And we got three bloodstained mayas and two wooded foothills. I guess what is this? I'm an idiot. There's nine fetch lands. I guess eight is the standard. But I figured if I'm gonna be my Goal for this is to have six, not six. You can't have six cards of one card. Um, si or <laughs> four red and sixes in the deck, so I can basically always consistently get three, four mana on turn three and four, so I can play bigger creatures and stuff. So I figured I always want to try to hit a fetch and run in six, so that would be helpful. Got four blood cleave, black cleave cliffs, pretty much a stable for. Turn one, lightning bolt, fatal push, thought seize, all that. Two raging ravines. Got one nourishing peatland. I feel like this should be two. I feel like that's the right decision. I mean, I'm not an expert or anything, but I feel like two cards that can you can sack it, draw it again off run and six is pretty important. Now for the shocks, two overgrown, stomping ground, blood crypt. We got these beautiful John Avon unstable lands. These are astounding. Two swamps, forest, mountain. Just look at this forest artwork. Beautiful. So yeah, this is the list. If I had to go play somewhere, this is what I would play. Unless if I somehow was able to, to get a red and six or another Liliana or something. But it's really expensive and honestly I don't really feel like I play enough or I'm not taking this to some competition. So... To spend an extra like 300 bucks on like, was it three cards? One, two, three, yeah, three cards. I guess what Renin Sixes are maybe 90 right now. Liliana's are like 80. Maybe it's not 300 bucks, but it's pretty, pretty close to 300 bucks, so I don't think it's really worth it. I'm just gonna put these back in order or my OCD will start expanding. Next up, we have the sideboard. This is where it's juicy. We got a damnation. This is one damn beautiful card too. It's such a simple artwork. Can you guys see it? Why is there glare? We got a damnation. I feel like it's important to have at least one card in the seventy-five that can destroy or just end everyone's creatures, just in case. Kind of like a restart. We got an ancient grudge. It's a really good card. Just two mana, and then. Yeah, just a good card, basically. Got two Collector Oof. I feel like that's important against Tron and a lot of these artifact decks, too. 
So yeah, this is basically my artifact hate. Those three cards. Got three Fulminator Mages. This that's pretty stock. I don't feel like that's really anything to debate really. Got two Plague Engineer again. I think it's just an important card. Three mana. I feel like it could be good. So we so there's three throughout the entire um, 75. One Weather the Storm. This card looks pretty spicy. So two mana instant. You gain three life and Storm whenever you cast a spell. It copy it for each spell cast before this turn. I think that's spicy against a lot of burn decks and stuff and other storm decks. So or not other storm decks, but storm decks. One collective brutality. If I had to switch it out, I'd probably put two collective brutality instead of another weather the storm. Got a Bayloth because this card is awesome looking. It's badass. And gain your four life if you slap it down. And basically, if someone's playing Liliana, you just put this thing in. Got a kitchen fangs. I just like this card. I feel like it has a lot of value. Three mana, gain two life, and then when it dies, it comes back, and you gain two life. So, what's not to like about it? Got a graph digger's cage just to stop some nonsense happening. And a spell bomb because it's foil. <laughs> Not a spell bomb just because it's a good card. That's a draw card and, and exile someone's graveyard. So that's it for the main deck. Now we'll go over to the spicy box. Now this box isn't complete and just kind of just has a bunch of kind of nonsense in it, but you know what? We're gonna go through it. So. I got some treasures. I do want a um, tireless tracker. I feel like one or two tireless tracker in the deck to combo with not combo, but with running six is pretty, I guess nutty. <laughs> it's pretty good um, synergy. So I feel like that would be a good card to have. We got a graph diggers cage. Another one because I pulled it. I feel like yeah, this card I pulled all these. I feel like these would be fun to add. I don't know how good they would be. People have been trying it out. I think it'd be fun to try out. So three would be a good number to have. Got four of these ice boys. Pretty much crazy good card. Got a fry. Can't be countered. You no know, kills to fairy in case that stuff gets crazy. Got Notch's grasp for just more shenanigans happening. Speaking of shenanigans, got more rather the storm in case I need them. Shenanigans, another thing instead of if I didn't want to use ancient grudge, but I still think ancient grudge is a little better. We've got Unearth. I really want this card to work, but I don't know if it will. People have tried it and said they didn't really have too much success, but maybe like as a one of, you know, just throw in the deck and try it out. I feel like it'd be good. I got Traverse of the Underwalled. I wish this card would work more because I really want to be able to search out like any creature you really want, you know, and be able to play it. That card would be my boy Wormy, but. Sometimes they're in the rock. Maybe they have it. We got a lot of hex drinkers because this card's really beautiful, I think. And I pulled some of these and I bought some of these for really cheap. I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive as a card, but you know, might go up in price. I think I still think in the rock this deck is insane, or in the rock this card's insane because you always play Dark Confidant and this thing hits and you could power it up and it becomes really beefy. Got the rag tusk. I cannot wait to play this card. Oh, so cool. This is when I first started getting into magic is when this was in standard. I think Raff or is that Return of Raffnica or something? Got some duress just in case. Slaughter Games, one of my favorite cards. Love that card. We got some more um Burn Hate, another K command just because I bought it. Got Terminate, forgot about that card. It's not really played anymore here. I do have more of those, I don't know where they are. Got a spell bomb, we got a courser for um in case we want to play it. This figure is foil, we got some foil lands. Baron Moore, I don't think that card's too good in Jun, but it's still pretty good. Got Pulse of Murr. I feel like this card would be decent to have, but you know, you'd bring get a, get a card or a land from your graveyard to gain six life, good against kind of burn and stuff. Got Veil of the Summer, because this card is spicy. Got Force of Vigor, Vigor, whatever, and Force of Despair, just in case those cards become pretty relevant. I think they might be if um, certain things happen, but now we got some sleeve cards, and they're not more important than the unsleeved. They're just cards that I just have. Got a kitchen things. Got a spell bomb. I should probably put these upside down. Spell bomb. We got some ley lines. We got a fry. Oh, Olivia. Love this card. Got a languish. Some more removal. Storm breath. Thunder maw. 
I want to play Thunder Maul so bad and Jund. Not as bad as Worm Coil, but more realistically, I think Thunder Maul would be playable. Got another Raging Ravine in case. Pithy Needle. Love this card. Just pretty versatile. Dread Boar. Another Abrupt Decay. We got Fatal Push. Got some Hex, more Hex Drinkers. Baron Moor. Another Ancient Grudge. Pulse. We got some Rip. Rip Looting. It's got Band. Which is maybe for the best. Because, but just had it in case. We got Duress. Choke. Because I hate. Um. Blue counter decks. Got a mountain, another push. Uh, yeah, basically you can see you got oh here, got my boy Confidant. Had two of these. Um kinda happy we have Ren and Six over Confidant because we can play more mana costing stuff. But for the rock, you know, this card is still pretty good. Got some scoos, Eternal Witness, good for the rock. Yeah, this so this is yeah, I mean, obviously, Joan could also be the rock is BGX, but yeah, Turtle Witness, crazy good card. Now, this is just some lands for um, the rock. We got Treetop Villages, Quagmire, Twilight Mire, we got Field of Ruin, and that is pretty much it. So, yeah, there's some cards that I want, like um, what I mentioned before Tyler's Tracker, Surgical Extraction, I want like one or two of. I think that card is just really good. Um,. What else? Obviously, two more running sixes. Another lily. Huh. You know, I have like a I had a list of cards that I kind of wanted, but I don't know. This is this is what I have. This stuff is pretty expensive, so I would not not gonna be putting too much more money in this soon. But it would be fun too. So yeah, love Jund. Love. I do want to subreddit every now and then. I'm a big lurker. I'm one of those guys just watch, like, yeah, just doesn't say anything, but he watches what other people say. It's cool. It's a cool community. So yeah, thank you for watching my Jun deck and my Jun box. And let me know if you guys got any spicy cards in your box that like, I maybe I didn't have or I should add just for fun, because spice is where all the fun is, you know. Get those spicy cards like Thunder Maw. I don't think Thunder Maw is too spicy, but hey, he's pretty spicy. So. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys around.